Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi, my name is Sylvia Hermawati And it is 2080984 So, today I will retell a story that is full of moral message That we can learn and apply in our life And I will tell a story that is the story of a cheerful granny So, let's just read the story on Shiban, a time there was an old woman who was very cheerful. Even though she had very little to make her happy, she knew that life is a journey that makes a person either with a smile or a frown on his face, and he chose to always smile. The happy old woman met a living, running around for her neighbor in return, for a meal or a bowl of soup, or sometimes a penny or two. The old lady never looked or found any reason to complain, but you might ask what is so interesting about his life or story. In the place of that woman who is very, very attractive, when the old woman set out for the forest with her bones and step and a sweet nut in her mouth. Suddenly, he came to the ditch and inside, he saw a large brown pot lying on the ground. The old woman wait, looked around her, expecting the owner to appear, but no one did. The old woman opened the pot which was filled with gold. The old woman tried to lift the pot but is what too heavy for her. After much talk, she saw the leader began dragging it behind her. At this time, he was a bit tired of dragging such a heavy burden and stopped to rest for a while, turned around to look at his treasure and there was absolutely no gold and it turned out to be just a lump of silver. So he went again planning what he was going to do and felt as rich as ever. Until becoming a little tall, again he stopped to rest and look around to see if his treasure had been kept and he saw nothing but a lump of iron. He left again dreaming about what he was doing with his money until he became a little tired again. This time it was not a hang of iron but a bulletin. This broke everything what love and so everyone was in a hurry to see how the stone would keep the gate open. She ran away down the hill until she came to her own house and when she turned around to open her scrap from the rock she saw in surprise that the rock line got bigger and before she could bend down to touch it on the it turned into a big lump of cotton and then out four feet wide and two arms and a first that looked like it was a beast with cunning teeth producing above its leaf its eyes were red and its brown it was a cotton star. The old woman was still happy and sighed, but the beast was very dreary. And the cotton monster turned into a butterfly and flew high. The woman saw it and then just shrunk her shoulder and went back into her house. And when she entered her house, she was surprised to see a boulder lying on the floor and then when she looked at her in surprise the rock turned into a child very beautiful but how happy the old woman is in her happiness she spun around and was surprised to see the pot filled with gold the old lady was happy when she always was and as you know she didn't get greedy she saw her 
work with her neighbors secretly and everyone was happy especially the old lady who told us that it's not about being content it's about learning how to turn disappointment disappointment into an opportunity to see things from another perspective and you will never be sad okay so that's the cheerful granny story that is very impressive and full of learning for all of us thank you for watching and have a nice day Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh